Jennifer Profano's daughter Rhiannon was only 11 years old when the family was told the little girl had to go out of state for behavioral health treatment. Her aggression and self-injurious behavior was too much for staff here in Maine. Diagnosed with autism and an intellectual disability, Rihanna needed specialized care at a residential treatment facility because no beds were available in any of Maine's four hospitals that provide psychiatric treatment for children. The little girl was offered a placement in Pennsylvania. Her family turned it down because it was too far. The 11 year old ended up in a facility in Manchester, New Hampshire, closer, but still three hours away from her home in Gardner. Seven years later, Rhiannon is still living at the treatment facility in New Hampshire, waiting for a bed to open up in Maine. Oh, I missed the second half of her childhood with her being out of state. A painful separation exacerbated by the pandemic. What did you do? For more than a year, the family's only connection are weekly video calls. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, 68 children are living in residential treatment facilities out of state. While the majority are in New England, some children have moved as far away as Arkansas, Utah, and Illinois. It's not that we don't have the money and we don't have the beds, we haven't made it a priority. Representative Lori Gramlich is a social worker and a longtime advocate for children with mental health needs. She is sponsoring emergency legislation that would require DHHS to address this crisis. Once it gets signed into law, the department will have 30 days to make a plan and present that plan to the legislature to bring these children home once and for all. Earlier this month at a public hearing before the legislature's Health and Human Services Committee, Dr. Todd Landry, the director of the Office of Child and Family Services, testified in opposition of the bill. He says OCFS is already implementing a plan that includes a rate study, which is expected to increase pay for providers and developing a psychiatric residential treatment facility for children. My hope is that means that some of these uh, children or future children or youth that are being placed out of state will be able to be served in state instead. As for Rhiannon, the teenager is transitioning into the state's adult system and is at the top of the list for a mental health bed in Maine. That means she could finally be moving back home sometime this year. In Gardner, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.